Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all have been having a fabulous week. I know things in February tend to be on warp speed because it's the shortest month of the year. This year's a leap year, so it's one day longer than normal, but it comes out of nowhere for me. It starts really quickly and ends really quickly and it just flies by like that. That being said, I did get my Birchbox and my Ipsy around the same time and I am going to squish them together again and do them in one video. I haven't broken into either of these. They're still in their original packaging so I'm going to crack them open and see what they're like. I've broken into Birchbox first. It is this really cute peachy colored box with sort of different makeup products, some arrows, infinity signs, stars, bobby pins, all over the top of it. So we've got the description card here. I'm gonna keep it as a reference for product prices and any sort of details I need about it. Um, but the theme of the month is what's the occasion is what it says. This February is about helping you create your own not quite everyday look. So we'll see what that's all about. There is an Escape E product on the inside. It was sitting on the outside of the tissue paper. So I'm gonna start with that first. This is from the new release from Birchbox called Arrow. This is the Revive Cooling Cheek Tint. So that's really cool. It's this tiny little tube, which I'm assuming if it's a cheek tint, you don't need a whole lot. And this is in the color Pink Punch. It's got the tiniest little hole on the bottom, which is good, so you don't accidentally get an excessive amount and then waste product. It is a really, really bright pop of color. If you let, so I just put some on my hand and I let it sit there for a second as I describe something to you and that part stained my skin and then when I blended it out it didn't reveal too much color so it might add a really nice soft flush on the cheeks. Usually cheek tints on the hand you don't get a lot of payoff but on the face you do. So this is a really cute little sample and a really nice color. I really like the the shade of that. I think it's going to be really nice. Next up is this tiny little squeeze tube by Sahajan. Sahajan. Sahayan. I have no idea how to pronounce this brand, but it's organic Ayurvedic blend. It's a restorative eye cream. Let's go with that. So it's a nice little tube of eye cream and just like a typical bottle and it is a strange color. Can you see that? It is like a earthy baby poop color. It's a really thick, luxurious texture. That is like, um, not quite moussey, but like, almost like an oil mousse texture to it. Really, really nice feeling for an eye cream. The smell, as it warms up, gets a bit nutty and a little bit um, definitely organic sort of smelling. But not 100% off-putting. I'm okay with it. I don't know, but the texture is really, really nice. Full size of that is $45, so that is crazy. It says it's rich with vitamin C. It helps the appearance of dark circles and helps to calm and soothe tired eyes. So that would be a really, really cool one to try out. Absolutely. Next up is this Body Butter by Wish. I've had a shave cream from them before and now this is a body butter in lavender scent. Let's see if it actually smells like lavender usually. Yeah, it doesn't really smell like actual lavender. It just has like a lavender essence idea to it. But it's still really nice. It's still kind of got that herbally lavender smell to it. It's a nice cream. It's not too thick and it's not overly thin. It does smell mostly nice. I don't know, I'm not in love with this lavender that it has, but the cream itself is really nice. It's got a nice texture to it. It rubs in really nicely and it doesn't seem overly greasy. And a full size of that is $24. This little tube is from Coriolis. It's an argan hair mask without parabens or salts or SLS. It's just a nice restorative oil hair mask. It is a good size and it is a cream sort of texture on the inside. It has a really nice spa-like scent to it. It's not 
overbearing of any one type of smell in any way. It's just really sort of mild and nice spa smelling. This is probably enough for one, maybe two hair treatments. I have pretty long hair, so probably only one, which sometimes isn't enough to see if you're gonna like it or not. Usually isn't enough to see if you're gonna like a product or not. But if I can get more than one out of it, that would be awesome. It smells really nice, it seems really nice. A full size of this is $40, so I'm thinking it's a pretty nice hair mask. And then lastly in here is this, in the tiny plastic sleeve for some reason, is by Pop Beauty and it is a matte lipstick. But this is in the color Cozy Crimson and it's sealed. The packaging is really cool. It's sort of pop art packaging, which is fitting for it being from Pop Beauty. And it is really, really big. So I think it's a liquid lipstick. It is in this sort of a tube. No, it's not. Oh, it's just really cool packaging. So it is a red lipstick. You get a good amount of product with this lipstick sample. And it says it is matte. Yeah, it's just a really nice sort of cool blue color, really nice red, almost a pinky red, definitely not a true, true, you know, stark red. Really, really nice. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Really, really. <laughs> now let's see what Ipsy has. I have seen the bag leaked on social media, so for me, this is no surprise what the bag looks like, but the texture is really cool. So it is this sort of pixelated envelope and it does have a really cool texture on it and the back is just a bright pink pleather. This is the card. It is pretty in ipsy pink is their sort of card for this month. Very exciting. I'm so excited that I got this. Okay, so I've gotten one of these brushes before. They're by Luxie. I got one of the bigger shader brushes and I love it. And this looks like a smaller tapered blending brush, which I have been looking for. So I love the pearlescent pink handle. It's got a rose gold sort of metal piece here. And then the brushes are really, really soft. It's gonna be really great for getting tighter into the crease, a little bit more definition. This is fantastic. Let's see, there is this crayon in here by Cella. It's a passionate pink lip pencil and the color is maybe it just says cella hello beautiful passionate pink lip pencil that's all it says so i'm not maybe passionate pink is the color although the packaging is orange like straight up pumpkin orange so i'm not sure oh but I love, I love the little crayon applicators, but I love them more when they're mechanical. You can just twist them up rather than sharpening because this is usually a really dense wood sort of material or plastic that's kind of hard to sharpen. The color is gorgeous though. It is this dusky sort of pink color, definitely very rosy in color gorgeous gorgeous for spring that's coming up and it seems like a really nice sort of silky but not too heavy really lightweight formula really really pretty next up this is a really adorable sort of hydrating hand cream or just cream in general hydrating cream but i really like the bottle that it's in and it is sealed so we're gonna open try and break that it is by Carrot and Rose. It's a hydrating cream by Seraphine Botanics. It's vegan, GMO-free, and gluten-free. This smells so good. Oh, it smells like candy, sweet, like really oh, sugary. That smells delicious. I want to eat whatever is in this tube. I won't, but that smells so amazing. Like candy in a good way not sickeningly sweet i don't know oh if, if there was smell of vision you all would be in heaven over this this is amazing this is the cutest little cube i have ever seen it's by naked cosmetics and it looks like it's just a loose pigment it says it's from sierra nevada it's number 
SNO2 mica pigment. So I think the color is called Sierra Nevada. And it's sort of this rose gold loose pigment color. This, I have a feeling, is about to go everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see without me getting it totally everywhere, but it is just this really pretty gold sort of pigment. Chunky glitter in it, but it also has some finer glitter. It creates a nice shimmer. It'll be really pretty on the eyes, but it'll definitely need to have a base to it, otherwise it's gonna travel everywhere. Lastly, this is a really cool sample. So this is the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil, which, you know, can be kind of intimidating thinking that it's a primer oil, but I've heard that it's not as scary as it sounds. And this is a really healthy sample for oil. Oils tend to travel and go a long way. You know, they have a lot of longevity, so. This is a large sample, which is really nice. No dropper application or anything like in the um, the full size. You can see on the photo there, it has a dropper. So, and it doesn't look overly greasy on the back of my hand. If you can see between the two, it's just sort of glowy without looking overly greasy. In the winter, it's probably really nice and moisturizing to use as a base. I know I've kind of struggled with finding something that has been working really well. It's been so, so dry. So that's awesome to give a try out. I'm gonna read up on it and see if there's more. I hate that Ipsy doesn't have a description card on how you're supposed to use things, what their prices regularly are if you wanted to go out and buy a full size on your own. It's just a little frustrating, but... So that's everything that I got for the month of February in both my Ipsy and my Birchbox. They did so much better this month than they did last month. Last month I was debating staying with the service if it was something I wanted to continue doing. They really both just deflated and did not start the year off well. But I am excited and re-energized about both of these. They hope they continue with this throughout the rest of the year. There's always high moments, there's always low moments, but I think this month it's kind of a tie between the two, which I like more. I really think they're pretty much dead even on their marks. They have a good versatile range of products and I just love both of them. If you guys would like to subscribe or learn more about either of these, they're both $10 a month. I'll leave some links down in the description bar below where you can go and sign up yourself. Read a little bit more on how you can sign up for these and what they're both about. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the video and I will see you next time.